to the rock, minerals, gems and rubies group. Now we're going to show you a lot of these special gems, rocks, minerals and rubies so from our group. So let's go to the special table. Hello. 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 Then this is our crew. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Okay. So today, we're going to show you this rock. It's called Rose Quartz. And then we're going to tell us all the what we have, what we what we haven't brought or and we're going to bring later in our videos. Okay. I'll pass it over to the cameraman. Okay then, so this is our friend who's just sharing our website now with everyone. Yeah. So we're now going to show you like the different gems on here. Let's and start with this Amethyst. one. This is rock crystal and what's made in brazil and rock crystal is this the colorless crystal is the most common from of, of the quartz and it's called just quartz because look it's not rose because the rose quartz it has, it, it's color like rose it's a bit pink like this one here like but there's also another type of rose quartz this one We've got this one here, well, we haven't got this one here today, but there's this type like what I've shown you, and this type it's what I've showed you. Okay, so now let's just have a little look at the other rocks. The, so, let's show you. The Fodonite is a rose red mineral named after the Greek word for rosy. Okay? And this, here, here's some here. gold. But my gold had an unfortunate accident and got broken. <laughs> and there was used to be alcohol in here. <laughs> but that, that's kids. gold flakes. Don't worry, very inappropriate for kids, so do not let your children have it. That's a warning. Now, also, I got one at home. I'll try and bring that in. To and this one's so got the alcohol. Gone. The alcohol is it's clean. clean. It's it's to clean. keep it clean and cleanse the gold. Yeah. And I this is amethyst. And a lot of people yeah. have that. Like me. But yeah. But and and this is me. the most precious gem, probably, out of all of these. Yeah. And then probably aragonite. And it must is very on rare. It. First used as a jewel by the ancient Egyptians. So that's a very long time ago. Amethyst used to be used. Plus, I can't bring it in, but I've got an amethyst about that big. Mm. That's good. So now let's go on to uh, um, aragonite. Aragonite is a special type of rock and looks like these. We don't know what these are really, but we I think do. they're gems, things like that. What they are is they are different parts of crystal and gems all together into, be, into one. Because I had a little part of one of these, like that. And I have some black onyx at home. Only a bit, a small bit. Black onyx is almost as valuable as gold. In the big, in the biblical times, and one of the rarest, and one of the rarest ones was the emerald. Emerald. We might have emerald in this tray, so let's just check. hold this up for a minute. Okay, so please. let's just check. Let's look at the top board. So one, pink granite. Two, grey granite. So, I've told you two of the names, so let's just have a look. Is there any of that type of rock? Okay. No, but this is a, another very special rock. It's called pumice. And this rock, pumice, is from... Pumice. Pumice is from South Africa. Okay, so let's just put this back into our tray of rocks we've got here. And now let's tell you a, a rock that I don't think it should be on here. Let's just move the map with all the rocks on out yeah. of the way and so let's fold it up. Unfortunately um, we had a few rocks when people were <coughs> looking at it because it was quite popular. So, 
And you look, you don't want to look at this here because it's a bit rude. So I'll just have to move it out of the way. So um, here's, here's a rare. <laughs> okay, let's put this down. Now we can put both of them down. So now we've got all of it. Here is a rare one called... Look at this leopardite. No, leopardite. Lol it. I d uh, don't know actually how to pronounce it. Yeah, yep. I, I don't know. Believed by some to ease stress and help cure dis depression. And here is the magnite. It's the most magnetic. And that was first discovered when I was it. It was a shepherd. He was walking around, and what happened was, um, the, he noticed the stones would were sticking to. To, the, to his sandals, the metal screws, and then what happened was he he took the mineral and then sold it. For money. And he got quite a lot of money for it because it was a proper rare rock. Okay? And the, that magnetite rock is basically a magnet. Any sort of metal that's got iron in it, it will stick to. to. And we know that because of on Thursdays when we do science with Mr. Smith. So, what we do is, we're now going to show you the still bite. The still bite, usually white but sometimes red. Still bite is used to in petrol refining. Petrol refining is something like when you go to a petrol station, you get it, you you give them petrol because you're like refining to get money. And here's a very rare one. Where is it? Ha Hal Halite, also known as rock salt. This mineral can actually be eaten. People eat this mineral. That's why it's very rare. So. It would you'd be quite lucky if you found one. Another rare one is excuse me, is geode. A geode normally has another half to that, and when you open it, it's rare itself. But sometimes you see in that gap there, it could sometimes have on and it, in and there a crystal, a crystal or something. I think I got what that sort one. of crystal? Um, could it, it, could be, it could be. It could be like emerald, most, amethyst. Most likely, it would be one of the one of the ones. Rock that crystal, there, like quartz. Rock, rock crystal, rose type quartz, of quartz, or emerald could could be in there if you're very. Lucky. And this geode, a chris, and it's. I'm just going to tell you a fact about it now. A crystal cave in a miniature often filled with quartz. So basically, quartz. that's just told us like rose quartz. This other type of rose quartz, what we've already shown you. And then this rose quartz, what I've got at home, what I'll probably bring in tomorrow in part two. Okay? And this one, sodalite, is a, another rare rock. And it's not so popular, that's rare. Not so rare, quite rare, not that much. That one actually is really rare. Yeah. Now, this dark blue mineral is used to make pendants and rings. So that's like, you know like all of the jewellery we have? Like, that's sodalite. And sodalite will be used a lot if, if, it's, if, it's, if it was common, a lot of jewellery would have it in. And because it's rare, really rare, not a lot of jewellery has it, because not that many jewellery places have that rock. This, this one here, blue agate, a beautiful variety of a common semi-precious stone. So, that's it for now, guys. But let's just show you this fluorite. Um, it's many, many samples, samples glow dark. in the dark, hence the word fluorite. Florence. Florence scene. Florence scene. So uh, that's it, guys. And that's it okay. for next video. See ya. Our crew. I don't like to be seen. That's it, guys. Goodbye. And me. Bye bye. And me, cameraman. See ya for now.
Hallo.